Melasma is a kind of pigmentation that uh, usually occurs on the face, in the central part of the face. So usually melasma would affect the cheeks, the forehead, and uh, the nose area. And uh, it is uh, a type of hyperpigmentation where there is excess melanin or pigment deposited in certain layers of the skin. Melasma is very common in pregnancy, but that does not mean that all pregnant women get melasma or that it is exclusive for pregnant females. So melasma can happen in non-pregnant females and it can also occur in males. In women who are pregnant, it is very common because the hormones of pregnancy um, make melasma more common and they can provoke it and exacerbate it. But melasma can also happen in women, let's say, who are not pregnant, but maybe on birth control because uh, the hormones as well can provoke uh, melasma. But like I said, it can also happen in men, so it does not have to be hormonal. So melasma is due to hyperactivity of the melanocytes, which are the pigment producing cells in the skin, which are usually in the basal layer of the skin. And these are the cells that are responsible for giving the skin its color. In melasma, they are hyperactive, so they produce more pigment, excessive pigment, which is deposited in the skin in the form of melasma or pigmentation. So like a lot of skin diseases, we diagnose uh, melasma by looking at the skin. So uh, skin diseases are visual. So as dermatologists, we are trained to, to differentiate between different diseases based on the way they look or where they are. So melasma has a typical appearance and it's usually on the face mostly. And um, we also resort to something called a Wood's lamp to diagnose uh, sometimes is needed to diagnose whether the melasma is superficial, deep, or uh, mixed, but we don't always need that. It's a visual diagnosis, it's a clinical diagnosis. So melasma is treated by uh, medications that will remove the excess pigmentation that has been deposited. Uh, peel the skin a little bit uh, with peeling the skin will uh, shed off the extra pigment and by using medications that will control the hyperactivity of the melanocytes. These are usually topical treatments, so a combination of uh, uh, medications that are used topically uh, in the form of creams and sometimes as peels to uh, produce the desired uh, effect. In addition, very strict use of sunscreen is important in treating melasma, otherwise treatment does not work because a major factor in causing melasma is the sun. And uh, that is why we said it can happen in men as well who don't have any hormonal problems. So staying out of the sun using strict sunscreen all year round, winter, summer, rain or shine, is important in the treatment of melasma. Some newer medications in the form of pills are very strictly uh, and discreetly prescribed to some patients, but we resort to topical treatment uh, more uh, as it is uh, safer. So once patients have melasma, uh, uh, we kind of, I kind of uh, advise them and I educate them that melasma can recur. Uh, so once you have melasma, it is likely to come back. So that is why the treatment, like a lot of skin diseases, will involve a treatment phase to get rid of the problem and then a maintenance phase to help prevent it from coming back again.